Good morning, this is totally random. Featuring Franz Maruna and Andrew Embler. I'm Franz, this is Andy. Uh, this is your periodic news show and community gathering about Concrete 5. Uh, I'll jump right into the news, just a couple of, a couple of tidbits today. Uh, we announced that uh, there is a uh, Concrete 5 for Windows Azure has uh, been released. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so you got a one-click install uh, through the good folks at Bitnami, I believe. Uh, set this, this guy up and uh, you know, if you're if you're doing the one clicky Windows Zool stuff, you can. Uh, there you go. Boom. So yeah, nice. you know. That's yeah, nice. they, they're. It's, I guess it's their take on hosted cloud services. <clears throat> you know, wow. be able to deploy instantly without having to all stuff. You know, install it. Yeah, that's up. There's only one comment from uh, yours truly. Uh, so if anyone uh, if wants to jump over there, maybe you know, make a nice comment. That's good. Um, no, those, those things actually are pretty powerful in terms of just people discovering Concrete 5. Oh, they yeah. might not have in the past. I know a lot of people just wander through the, uh, the marketplaces of, of, of one-click installers and that kind of thing. So um, having some, some positive comments yeah. there would certainly help. Yeah, we uh, have gotten some pretty big pretty big people discovering Concrete 5 through stuff like the Windows Web Gallery. And Too true. Like Too and true. It's just um, not... Yeah, you may not it's necessarily good think of that. So yeah, that's good. more than one review would be awesome. <laughs> um, what was the other one? Oh, I think Pack Publishing has a new Concrete 5 book. I don't have it with me yet, but I think they're going to send us some. Uh, but I think Remo's been working with them. And, uh, Is it about theming? Yeah, I think it's a theming book on Concrete 5 that's, uh, that's now for sale. We'll, we'll dig that link up somewhere. I believe it is. It is out and ready to go. Sweet. So thank you, Remo, and uh, thank you, Pack. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't think we have any other news to talk about. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Well, let's do some karma. Come on well, every week the karma machine runs and it tallies up all of the community points that have been assigned to people for uh, helping one another and working on the core and, uh, and promoting the project. And uh, we, we assign uh, uh, licenses to add-ons uh, for folks who have been uh, accumulating the karma points. Nice. So uh, what we got going on, Matt? It looks like uh, Vidal won a copy of the contact directory. Nice, nice. For helping out. Uh, we have I am Jack. I'm Jack. I'm Jack. Winning a copy of the animated theme for promoting concrete map. That's a cool theme, by the way. Nice, yeah. And guess what? I have won a copy nice. of Social Class. Awesome! Which leads Get me yourself to, some class. Just as a class. Apparently, I did some work. <laughs> I right, well, some work. That makes sense. No. It happens occasionally. Pay for something. Hey, oh. <laughs> Uh, no, that's awesome. Uh, congratulations to you winners and thank you to everybody who has helped. Uh, it, is, it is great to be part of something that uh, is, is growing and so vibrant. Um, do we have any stickers? We do not. No sticker no pictures. Stickers. Oh, oh my. Uh, well, gaping, gaping gaping hole. Uh, you guys should, should get some stickers and take pictures yeah. of them. Uh, I've never felt more awkward. Uh, <laughs> There's no roadmap. I know, this is not on my tree. Really I guess if you want a sticker, go to our swag page, put your address in, and have a sticker. <laughs> if you don't, that's cool too. Yeah, you go down to the bottom, there you go, put your address in there. Yep, full mailing address, not just an email, right? City state, we'll send you stickers, we'll burn your address, we'll take a picture, and then we won't feel so sad and awkward. I do feel kind of sad. This is it, that's really, yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is just death on Okay, uh, I guess it's time to just see. What's going on with the PRB? Yeah. yeah. Introducing Great Choice by Greg Joyce. All right, that's good. Well, Greg, I know you've been fighting a bit of a cold this week. Looks like you're, you're facing an interesting decision. Yeah, like, you know, last time we are here, 
<clears throat> talking about chemtrails and so on and stuff. Right. There's another conspiracy that I think people need to think about, and okay. that's GMO food stuffs. Oh. Yeah. What? And, uh, you don't you like know, the GMO. Just, just walking the around. GMO, gotcha. Not GMO. <laughs> I bought it. I GMO too, yeah. No, what? No, GMO, yeah. yeah. Genetically modified organisms. Oh, and man, that sounds gnarly. Yeah, so we're walking around, and then here's a big pile of fruit or peppers and stuff on the ground. You sure. Know, not how to get there, I don't know, but it's just kind of like the CIA probably put this here to, you know, expose people to this. To mind GMO control. Mind control. Yeah. It's tempting, right? It's tempting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, well, I'll just. It looks so Enjoy delicious. Enjoy some street peppers. Some colorful right. street peppers. <laughs> yeah, and I had to, you know, walk. And also, yeah, like I had to get over that to get to the foil behind there it's just true. to protect myself from the. I bet you've had some stuff area. behind that foil. I bet you did. Yeah. I think you should just put all this aside and think about starting a pop lock crew called Street Peppers. <laughs> street Peppers? Yeah. yeah. It's oh. a good dance, like crew. A dance crew. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That'd be good. There you go. Well, that might be a subsequent great choice. Next yeah. week. All right. Did you did you make any other great choices this week? Yeah, Greg? there's lots of PRB stuff. Sweet. It's mostly done by Matt, actually. All right. Um, this is uh, form ago social class, I believe it is. Social oh, life. Right. Social, social life. life. Oh. Nice. Wow. All right. And uh, yeah, this uh, is a. Um, yeah, Bunch it's of feeds an come in that lets you uh, from various. Things like you can have your YouTube channel going on your site. You can have, uh, I believe it'll do a Twitter feed. You know, obviously like it. has Flickr yeah. and Instagram up there too. So, aggregator every, of social feeds. Yeah, fantastic. It looks nicely uh, uh, unified in its appearance. Yeah, yeah, yeah well. as I, I recall, it's not uh, too heavily styled, so it leaves you to you know add in your uh, cool. use its own use its classes and stuff to Sweet. make cool. it. Cool. Yeah, it looks really good. Nice. Well. So yeah, not a bad thing. This is the Aubergine theme uh -huh. by 55 Web Design. It's purple and... Egg eggplant, one might say. Yeah, yeah, I believe it's also responsive. Nice. Uh, here's Gold mm -hmm. Artist mm -hmm. from 55 Web Design. And this is uh, an excellent theme if you're like running a disco or something. Sure. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And uh, next up we have... Whale J Carousel by Sharok, nice. and uh, you know it's a uh, carousel kind of image slider sort of theme or not theme add on you know. So you they, they cycle through. Uh huh. All right. And next up we have Bold and Beautiful by J B One, and it's you know kind of a red, white, and blue sort of theme. Sure. It's like it's ready for a spa yeah, store. It's responsive. I'm ready to get a spot for that site. So, yeah, there There's you go. There's the Wanderer theme from uh, Viva Templates, and that is probably the most meta theme screenshot to Yeah, date. that's something, man. Like you're on your iPhone in your web site looking at, looking at your website. It's too bad they didn't put the screenshot of this screenshot yeah. in that screenshot. Yeah, but yeah. looking at the desktop yeah. version yeah. of the site. Yeah, that'd be something. <laughs> yeah. No, that's pretty cool. That's not yeah, the cost effect. Yeah. yeah, that looks that's yeah. really nice. But, and then CV Folio, it's another kind of a theme for putting your resume online, I guess is the sure. the idea here. Great which is TV. cool that to, to do such a purpose specific theme like that, it'd be interesting to see people go with that. And this yeah. is by Growth Curve. Nice. And uh, I think that's it for the week. Sweet, cool. Good that's work. Good thing, Great so. choice as always, Greg Joyce. Yeah. I'm going to go work on my pop lock in there, bring it down to CIA. Sweet, yeah. sweet. Like, well, you know, no reason they can't multitask. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, great. Now what do we do? How we do that? Yeah. How we do it? We're blazing. Today. We are. Let's do it. it. How would we do that? How would we do it? I don't know. What would we do? What would we do? You got some questions? We'll answer them. If you don't, we'll just jibber jabber for a minute and go back to work. What's happening? I'm not seeing any convenient Q icons in the chat here. Oh, wow. But there's a we do have a new beta that you made. Yeah. Just go get the beta. Yeah, that's uh, we released a, an updated copy of it um, for download last Friday, and we'll do that again this week. I haven't done a tremendous amount of work on it this week so far, but I'm looking to uh, squash some more bugs and pull in some pull requests today. So nice. there will be an updated beta later on today, and then we're looking at uh, releasing that sometime February. Yeah. Five, six, one, coming soon. This month. Yeah. Yeah. 
So coming weeks, one might even say. Yeah, really, really depends on you, community, of, of using it and telling us what those bugs are. It looks good to us. Yeah. But you gotta tell us it doesn't. Or we'll just release it. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting close. Well then, this is, are we going for a record here? <laughs> I think I right. No, we got some questions. We got some questions. Oh, okay, let's do it. I'm committed to answers. Uh, Jay still asks, uh, no get this week? I think the answer is not this week. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I haven't done any so far, but next week. Yeah. Got one from here, NT. He asks, uh, what things do you do to speed up development on mid-sized theme to concrete five projects? Uh, he's trying to figure out some good boilerplate package items to put together. Uh, we use designer content on, you know, if you're working on a project that has custom stuff that clients need, um, we'll use Jordan Lev's very, very good designer content block as a starting point for all the custom blocks that we need. I mean, at least I do. Yeah. I Same do you. custom developments. Quite handy. Um, beyond that. I think he's talking more about process PSD to Z5. Yeah. I mean, usually we, if, if we're doing services work, uh, we're, we're always getting clients to agree to comps first. Um, I mean, uh, like I, I can take a step back. Um, building great websites is a process, not a product. Uh, you can you can come up with lots of different labels and, and exciting diagrams for it, but basically you always split a problem like this into three phases. There's architecture, construction, and delivery. Um, you know, you could you could describe any problem in life this way. First, you're going to think about it, then you're going to do it, then you're going to see what happened. Um, so during architecture, we usually go through something called like wireframing, which is in black and white, you kind of outline what the website would do, where the navigations are, hey, there's a shopping cart thing up here. Uh, then you get into comping, which is you take that, stick it in Photoshop, and um, you, you have a designer actually mock up exactly what the website will look like. Uh, that is easier than really doing it on the fly. Uh, way back in the mid-90s, you should just start making tables, and we'll just change it when you want it to. Uh, that doesn't really make any well, sense. Well, I think they have a theme. Yeah, they have a PSD. you got to get to the PSD. Uh, well, I, mean, I don't know if your NT knows this, but uh, I had a conversation with someone yeah. earlier this week who didn't. Uh, so once you get to that point where you actually have Photoshop file, that should represent what you're trying to build pretty closely. So we take that, we we chop that into just static HTML, and um, you know there's where there's placeholder text, we just kind of leave that, and then. Uh, you know, each one of those those comps becomes a page type, and you just swap out that that HTML with block areas. Uh, what Andy was talking about is there is a an add-on in our marketplace from Jordan Lev called the Designer Content Block, and what that lets you do is kind of define uh, parts of the page that are a little bit more design centric than just a column of text or you know, hey, the client can put whatever they want in there. If you've got you know an image and a big title and a, and a paragraph, you want to kind of keep that tied together. Uh, you can use the designer content block to actually generate a new block that uh, that will that kind of force your client to keep the uh, keep the styles clean and, and use things that way. So uh, that's how we do it. Uh, he adds he's making a package with a theme and a blocks directory with some boilerplate templates, and I've seen that um, uh, in marketplace themes quite often. Uh, a developer will add some block templates in there. Uh, I know. You know, obviously the core blocks are, are a good thing to think about, like auto nav and page list and stuff like that. But everyone seems to have their favorites too, for, yeah. For, yeah. for third yeah. party blocks as well. Yeah, we don't. There's not. We don't have like a standard starting point for projects when we do them in house. Like no. these are the things we add in to stock concrete five. Probably because if we like them for all the sites we build, we just build them in the right. core. Well, I mean, I mean but, like, it's yeah. just always a style. You always want to have H1 and H2 and that yeah. kind of stuff. Right now. Uh, that's right. We're usually using the auto nav and the page list a lot to build navigation. So use, those usually end up with a custom, couple of custom templates by the time we're actually delivering the project. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. That's how we do that. I think that kind of wraps up the questions I see at least. Oh, right. Well, I think this might have, oh, I think we were right at the record-making yeah. moment. So, uh, yeah. that's exciting. That is. Uh, uh, that, that means makes it that, that uh, you know, we'll probably get that beta out a little bit earlier today. That's today. possible. And uh, until uh, next week, it's been totally random. Fridays at 10 a.m. Pacific Time.